All right, so I uh, thought I'd make a short video here to answer some of the questions that have been coming through about this Gerard and the modifications I've done. Uh, I figured it'd save me a lot of time answering questions. Um, so, talk about the regulator first. Uh, this is a Goss uh, low pressure regulator. Uh, make sure if you order one, you get the low pressure. Uh, it's the EP70G, as you can kind of see there. Um, if you get the high pressure regulator, A, for one, it won't work correctly. B, the gauge won't read correctly because the increments are much too high. Um, so you need this fitting here, which is a quarter inch to the tank. This is now your on and off. This is uh, that Goss regulator, and this is the other fitting. Um, so it can attach to the hose. Typically, as you know, this hose would plug or screw directly into the tank. Now this runs in line. The regulator is important because as the pressure changes in the tank, um, this gives you a consistent... PSI output and you can always confirm that right here um, until the tanks just about toast it will it will maintain and give you exactly the pressure you dial in this knob here uh, that lets you dial it in exactly very very easy to use um, this guy which is typically your on and off you just leave it wide open now at all times uh, other thing is a potentiometer on the side of the unit so typically you have your speed control. As you guys have uh, used these, you know that it's pretty erratic. It's hard to use because small changes give you big changes in speed. Um, this is a potentiometer that's got a dial indicator on, on the uh, out, outside of the unit and then there's numbers on the inside. So as you dial up, you'll see it'll start flicking through the numbers on the outside. So the, the range is huge here. Primarily everything you use will be in the six range. Um, so this is kind of what I use to keep track. The six millimeter brass is 6'3", 223 Ackley is 6'9", Psalm 6'1", so on and so forth. So when I say 6'1", that means you go down here and you dial it right to where it says 6'1", and it'll be the same every single time. Uh, it's, it's literally that easy. So once you get your settings set up the first time, pretty much good to go. You never have to mess with them again. You dial it on here, it will be consistent every single time. Um, installing the potentiometer. So this is where it got a little bit tricky. The hole in the side of the unit has to be opened up a little bit because it's it's thicker, uh, just a little bigger drill bit, not a huge deal. Um, on the inside, excuse the soldering here, uh, the wires are short, it is fairly hard to solder. Not impossible by any means, but it is a little difficult. Um, more importantly though is the order of the wires here. You got red, yellow, green going from left to right. Okay, just want to make sure that that's, that's fairly clear. Uh, red, yellow, green. Uh, you can see in the original wiring diagram it goes yellow, green, red. Um, so just so you guys are aware if you buy one, that's the order you got to solder it in. If you've got some fairly decent soldering skills, this is not that hard to do. Obviously you solder it and then install it. Uh, I've got the case cover off so you guys can see this. It is a little, it's a little tight working in there, but uh, not impossible by, by any means. So I'll kind of give you a, a brief example of how the regulator and everything works. Um, so, like I said, this is now your on and off. You turn it on. So when I, so that's the dial on it. You can literally dial it to exactly whatever pressure you want. So I'll come over here, say I'm doing Psalm 17 PSI. Dial this up, 17 PSI, good to go. Literally that easy. Light it, already changed that to psalms you guys saw. Click the unit on and that will change the speed of it. Um, literally that easy, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. It will make your Gerard extremely consistent uh, and it takes all the guesswork out of it. Hope this helps.